What's going on everybody? So today I wanted to make a video. Some of you guys have been asking what kind of computer do you use? What kind of software do you use? Uh, kind of like what do you use to essentially, you know, to figure this stuff out? You know, your diagnostics, your troubleshooting, stuff like that. So one thing I use is a laptop. It's small, it's portable. It doesn't matter what laptop you use as long as it's compatible with the software you're trying to download. So for example, I run a couple different programs on this laptop. Okay, one of them is gonna be the diagnostic link. That's for all your Detroit stuff. You're also gonna use this old diagnostic link as well. It comes with the software. I'll, I'll show you the software in a second, but I'm just kind of showing you the programs I run on the laptop that I run. It's just a Lenovo laptop. Now I've used a couple different laptops before. Um, you know, some of the lower end $250 ones, those tend to, they, they tend to be really slow and they really can't process the things you need. So I would avoid those and I would kind of move a step up and go into like, let's say the five, $600 range. Um, again, it depends on what speed or what you're processing. So for example, everyone has their own set of requirements or their parameters. So the day before that one is for my Packer. And again, these two here are for my Detroit. Okay, whether it's a Series 60, DD15, uh, MBE, you name it, uh, EPA07, all the way up to GHG14. So the other program I run on here is the Cummins Insight. Okay, so again, those are the three that I run the most. I really don't touch uh, other, other trucks as far as Volvo, Mac, uh, Hino, stuff like that. That's just not for me. So again, this is what I'm running. This is what I'm working with right now. And again, as you can see, it's just a Lenovo laptop. Again, nothing fancy. It's got a USB connection to it and that's pretty much it okay that's the laptop that I use the cables the hardware now this is what I use this is what I had to purchase obviously in addition to my laptop okay so that's from Nexic okay N-E-X-I-Q I use this one which is the USB link 2 and I think they also carry another one one is Wi-Fi and one is Bluetooth so there's a couple different ones out there whatever works best for you hey go for it okay so again that's the little box that's what's going to communicate with your laptop to the truck. It's gonna show you your power. It's gonna show you your data. It's gonna show you pretty much everything you need. And again, this is what I use and it's pretty solid. The plugs, okay, now you're gonna need a few different plugs. This is the old six pin Deutsch, okay, and this is the nine pin. Some of the older trucks, let's say the 2008, nine and 10, were black okay now it was a little different it's still a nine pin but a little different and then some of the newer trucks started to integrate the green connector now it's still a nine pin but it's ever so different or just slightly larger okay so it will not plug in or will not match the other way around i'll show you what i mean in a second but if you buy this little setup okay now again i'm not endorsing this i don't get any sponsorship i don't get anything out of it i'm just trying to show you what i have okay if you buy this particular setup with these cables okay this nine pin will work whether it's a green or whether it's black, it's the same, but this one will work on both, okay? Just to just to kind of show you that. So again, that's the, the setup or the uh, the box that communicates. And again, you can find this, you can find this information yourself. You just go to nexic.com, look at products, and that's pretty much what you're going to find. USB link two, Bluetooth edition, uh, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, give me a second, here we go, here's your accessories. Those are your pins, see? Six and nine pin adapters, okay? It works perfectly, <clears throat> excuse me. It works fantastic for what I use it for. That's what I have, I just showed you that, okay? Now, as far as your software goes, the one I use the most is my diagnostic link, okay? This is one that is a paid subscription. I'm gonna show you this right now. Okay, there's two of them that you can go with. One is the standard, which is what I use, and the other one is the pro license or the professional license, okay? Look at the price difference, $625 a year versus $1875 a year. The main difference that I've found, or at least from what I understand, the main difference is the pro gives you the ability to reprogram ECUs, updates. Anything like that has to do with those types of software updates, that's what that will give you, okay? Now, if you have clients for that, fantastic, go for it. I personally don't really encounter that too often in any kind of update. I usually send the customer to the dealership, whether it's Freightliner or local, uh, someone else local to us, which would be a Valley Power. Okay, they're here in City of Industry, uh, Southern California. So you can use either one of those. And again, it's a paid subscription. And again, it's through Diagnostic Link, as you can 
can see it's right up here, diagnosticlink.nexic.com, okay? And again, it's an annual subscription, so literally once you plug it in, it's gonna show you, hey, this is it right here. There's no more discs, there's no more any, any of that crap to go with. You buy it, you download the link, it goes to your laptop, whatever you're gonna use it on, you put in the key code, and it's good for a year, okay? Every year it will ask you to obviously pay them. The other thing I use, I wanna show you guys this, these are my workbooks or my manuals, okay? There's a whole series you can purchase. I think you can buy the whole thing in a set and I think that's actually how I purchased it a couple years ago, okay? Now this will actually cover, as you can see on here, DD platform manual, okay? EPA 07, which is gonna be again, your 2008, nine and 10 roughly. And then they, they changed it over to EPA 10, which is gonna be your dev stuff. And even the newer stuff, like the 2015, 16, I think some of the 17s even, are going to be GHG 14, okay? Now, each book kind of covers a couple different things. I actually love this, okay? This is actually something I recommend. If you're really into this and this is what you're going to do, and, I mean, you could Google everything, but, you know, again, sometimes you need the book, okay? So, as you can see, exhaust, EGR, after treatment, that's one book. The other one is going to be engine, air, cooling and lubrication and the other is going to be the fuel system okay so these are the three books that are, you're probably going to be using the most and the other which is actually really good electrical system okay electrical system is all your fault codes now it's pretty awesome i'm going to open this up really quick and this show is the you book that. that i probably use about 90 percent of the time okay anytime i'm doing any kind of engine work this is the this is the one obviously you can tell because it looks like it's been beat up okay so engine air cooling and lube so literally as you start going through the book you're gonna start seeing things in the back. So, I mean, the back, the front, it, it literally has everything you need, okay? Everything, whether you're gonna take off the flywheel housing, okay? Whether you're gonna do the module on the side, the lubricating module, it's gonna tell you exactly how to torque everything, okay? If you wanna get a little more into that, it tells you about the engine block, the cylinder head, the turbo, the turbine, V-Pod, some of the newer trucks or the DD13s have this type of setup. So this book is actually really good, uh, again, Definitely recommend it, it will pay for itself. I mean, I kid you not, look. It tells you about the pipes, it tells you the charge air, it tells you the torque, look at that. It tells you your timing, how to set up your timing, timing on the rear, if you ever get to that part of that, you do need some special tools. Okay, this is one of them, that's another, and that's setting up the timing on the back, so if you ever have to do an out frame, you're gonna need something like that, definitely, okay? See, look at that, there's your cam housing, and again, the book itself is very thorough. It hasn't let me down yet. Okay, here's the, the other book, the fuel system. A lot of you guys hit me up about the fuel, any kind of fuel problems, fuel pressures, anything like that, this book itself should cover. And again, EPA 7 all the way to GHG 14, okay? So look, fuel pump, fuel lines, injector, injector cups. I mean, it's literally all here for you. Um, the dev system after treatment, that one's always a pain in the ass to deal with. But again, the book itself will yes, cover that. And this is the other, or the last two books that I have. Okay, electrical system and troubleshooting. So check that out. And again, it applies for the DD platform. So that's DD13, DD15, and I think even DD16. So some of you guys may encounter the DD16. Not too much here in Southern California. DD13 and 15 are the most uh, prominent engines. Okay, so the electrical books really quick. I want to show you this and again troubleshooting electrical system V1 and then over here you have V2. So it's essentially a two-part Setup that it has. Okay, so it's going to give you your Your breakdowns your pins. It's going to give you your SPN codes, which are your fault codes as you can see there It will even narrow it down a bit more. So SPN 652 that's EPA 07 So that's the earlier stuff and it's all in numerical order. So as Two fuel first, two fuel fist, fuel filter system. God, I can't even say that one. But anyway, and again, as you can tell, check it out, man. It's pretty thorough. SPN 652. So that's the first book. The second book, again, it's going to start giving you more fault codes, more things on here. Check that out. 3659. Engine side harness. So I mean, it's very thorough, very comprehensive. It would definitely help you out. Now I purchased this from Valley Power. I'm going to put their website in the description. I don't know if they still sell it this way in the book. Uh, they may have switched over to a PDF format. I'm pretty sure you can find some of this stuff on Google, but I'll be very honest with you guys, buy it, okay? It's worth it. If you're working on DD15s, if, if you want to get familiar with it, 
this is what I recommend to purchase. Okay, the book itself hasn't failed me yet. Okay, and there's some things that I'm, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'll, I will Google it, I will take a look and I'll get some, some ideas. Sometimes you need a fresh set of eyes. So I hope this helps you guys out. Again, those are the books that I use, okay? That's the laptop, that's the cable setup, and I showed you the website that you can get everything from, you can purchase that. Um, you know, it's not a cheap investment, but it will pay for itself, okay? I can't stress that enough with you guys. Uh, it will pay for itself, okay? And more than likely, it's gonna be a write-off anyway. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up. Uh, I'm constantly checking my YouTube comments. Um, hope, hope this helps you guys out. Again, thank you for watching, man.